on a basic day in my life. I got up, drank some coffee, ate breakfast, said goodbye to my three-year-old kids and wife, and go to work. I was working as a storyboard writer in Nickelodeon. I worked for many shows, mainly SpongeBob SquarePants. I was writing the storyboard of the Sponge Who Could Fly, the current new episode of SPSP. After loads of hard work, I took the videotape of the episode to watch it at home with my kids. I really, and I mean really, loved this show since childhood. I watched the episode with my kids. They enjoyed it and wanted me to play it once more. You have just seen it, boys. Later, maybe I'll watch this with you again, I said, smiling at them, before sleeping till a decent amount of time. Hello. I heard the sounds of screams coming out from the living room. I ran to check it out. It was my wife screaming at a hand and some blood. The other child was missing too. I was going to freak out. As I saw the DJ on, I pressed the replay button. Somehow, knowing that I put the tape back in its bag, the SpongeBob SquarePants theme plays. As the title card of the episode shows, it was Sponge no other words to it, just a plain sponge in a red title card. It began with SpongeBob waking up from his bed, moving happily to his kitchen, to feed Gary and eat some breakfast. His eyes turned into a black hole, with little outlines of white. He was shocked. It moves to Gary's spot. His shell was left. No Gary. Nothing. He goes to the shell, to see if Gary shrinked in it. He saw a pile of meat and two eyes crushed inside the shell. He bursts into crying and screaming, imitating a real human crying. It felt super realistic. SpongeBob then walks to work. He was three hours late on work. It moves to Mr. Krabs screaming at him. Why are you too late, Spongebob? All our customers stopped arriving. You are in me. Spongebob interrupted Krabs and said. Do you know how it is to lose your pet to a mysterious maniac who killed it? Do you and your greedy look on your piece of crap face know how it feels? Spongebob bursts out of the crusty crab to bury his only pet Gary. The bubbles moved to Spongebob, finding blood trails that led to Patrick's house. He entered the house. He starts walking inside, finding nothing but sand. Like usual, Patrick was there, mumbling some words. Spongebob turned him to see his friend, whom he thought caused Gary's death, getting eaten by a shark wearing a night patch. That character was the scrapped character module for Patchy. Before we scrapped the idea of him being a cartoon, Patchy walked to Spongebob, and grabbed him with his fist. Spongebob bites his hand too hard, it bit a piece of it out. How are you dummy? Patchy screams, while his hand bleeded. Spongebob then takes out a piece of Patchy's tooth. He stabbed his neck with it and ran away. The next scene was Spongebob dead, torn into pieces with Gary's broken shell. The episode ends. As I see my wife, torn into pieces, I widened my eyes and passed out. I woke up at my bed, in the hospital, I was in a coma, after I got hit by the light bulb that fell onto my head, when I slept, after I watched the darn thing with my kids, I realized that twisted day was a dream. Now I know, why this episode was titled Lost.